Oh yeah. I think we are streaming. I'm just trying to sort out my microphone. I know this looks a bit weird. I'm I'm clipping it to myself. And I'm not sure which dial does what, so I might be deafened in a moment. Hello. I it's it's been so long since I've done anything. I've been uh absolutely busy and exhausted. And if my audio sounds weird, I don't know why it does. Um, it's been completely fine up until last night, and I don't know what's happening. So I'm 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 so sorry about that. But here we are. Hello. I'm gonna have a quick uh quick swig. So we're gonna do another adventure game. Um, I've done Discworld. I'm in the process of doing Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis right now with my darling girlfriend. But um. Her schedule basically means that she's horrendously busy all the time. So I've decided to start another one on my lonesome. Wow, that's even worse. Hang on, let me bring back some light to the situation. There we go. Yeah, it's weird. I don't think it quite knows what it wants. But see, that's a bit better. And then I go back. I don't know what to tell you. It's it's dark in here. Anyway, so a new adventure game. And I was I was thinking of something to play and I thought let's do something that I've never even heard of before and I was going through my Steam list and I found this little gem. And it should be up on the screen. If not, then I don't know what's happening with it. It's um the Blackwell Legacy. If not, it'll soon be up in a minute. I don't think there's any sound yet. But yeah. I'm not really... You know, I've never really heard of it before. I don't really know anything about it whatsoever. So we're just going to, I think, jump straight in and give it a go. Um, I know, I think there's a game um, before or after this. I think, hang on, let's... Let's have a quick look. Blackwell Legacy. So it's a series. Here we go. The Blackwell Le Legacy is number one. Freelance writer living a solitary life in New York City. <gasps> He's just to write about suicide in a college dorm. A ghost named Joey Malone makes an appearance in her apartment. <gasps> and she's a medium. Okay, so right, so that's all I want to know. So, I'm checking out a suicide, which is lovely. Now, I don't really do scary games. I'm not sure if it's going to be scary or what have you. But we're going to jump. Whoa! Yes. I deafened myself. So we're gonna just go ahead and start a new game. Was that Widget Eye Games? Ooh. Would I like to activate in-game instructions? Yes, I would, because I have no idea what I'm doing. In addition to on-screen instructions, you can view the instructions by clicking the help button on the options screen. Love it. Okay, here we go. Day one. Never seen, heard of this game before. I've seen it on my Steam list. We're gonna give it a shout, I think. Give it a go. So, I guess this is it. Years of watching and waiting and hoping, and it comes down to this. Do I love you? Do I miss you? I don't know for sure. I hardly know you. talking about? But you're the closest thing to family I've got, and I suppose that's something. Goodbye, Auntie. Wherever Monty. you are. Oh. I don't even know how old this game is. A game by Dave Gilbert. Hey Dave. Let's check it out. Let's, let's get some info up on this game. So yeah, I, I sort of just wanted another... I guess this is um, sort of like a point and click adventure. Um,
Quite a funky beginning. What a morning. At least I'm home now. Interaction with objects. To interact with objects or characters, move the mouse cursor over them and left click. There's a strange kid standing in front of Rose's door. Try interacting with him to see what he wants. Front door. Window. Window. Let's there click are on the window. over the windows. I'm not getting in that way. Well, the latest game was only April of last year, so these are, this is clearly quite fairly new stuff. Oh, uh, the game was first released on December twenty third, two thousand six. Okay, so it's not hugely old. So, uh, so I'm not going to get in there. So let's talk to the teenager. Let's have a look. See what he's going to say. I'm intrigued. Hi there. Um, hi. So who are you visiting today? Huh? Seriously, who are you here to see? Can't let you in unless you tell me. Um, I live here. What's no, it actually got to do with I you? I know everybody in the building. I don't know you. Oh no! I can't see the bottom. <laughs> oh, I can't see the bottom thing. I'm going to question his presence. Who the presence. hell are you? Jim Birdo. All right. Jim, where's the regular doorman? Jeez, where have you been? He's on strike. He's what? Strike. All the building servicemen in the city are doing it. Union rules or something. I stepped in to help because I know everybody. How come nobody told me? Notices were posted all over the building. I put them up myself. If you lived here, you'd have seen them. Who pays attention to things like that? Well, that's not my problem. Oh. Okay, so it looks like I'm going to go ahead. So what is I'll be back. See you around. Activating the inventory bar. Rosa is carrying something. Let's see what it is. To activate the inventory bar, move your mouse cursor to the top of the screen. Oh, this is... Okay, I'm going to be pretty... Uh... Oh, that's alright. No, I'll be able to see stuff. Hello again. So it's good. I, th um, I think the bottom thing will literally just be to end the conversation. How long strike. is the strike going to last? I don't know. Could be a couple hours or a couple days. Depend on whether they reach a settlement or not. I don't know the details. This guy is what we call in the trade some sort of arsehole. So let's state the facts. Really? I live here. I'm all about facts. Nice try. I know everyone in this building, and I don't know you. Sorry. I've lived here for five years. Then how come I've never seen you before? I have no idea. Doesn't matter. If you lived here, I'd know you. That's all there is to it. Surely there's some sort of proof. Hang on. Listen, I really live here. Fourth floor, number 4E. 4E. Hmm. Isn't that apartment empty? No! I live there! And I want to go there. Thank you very much. Oh. Hmm. Maybe you're telling the truth. He sees reason. Thank God. Do you have any ID? A driver's license or something? Yes. I have a driver's license. It's upstairs. In my desk drawer. Crap. <laughs> Come on. This is New York. Who actually drives? <laughs> True. But I still can't let you in unless you prove you live here. Show my proof. <gasps> Ask for help. Okay. I have no ID, and you don't know me. What can I do to prove that I live here? Hmm. Well, can anyone in the building vouch for you? I'm not sure. I mean, I don't really know anybody here. How long have you lived here again? Be quiet. Not all of us are social butterflies. Okay, whatever. Hey, what about Nishanti Sharma? He could vouch for you. I have no idea who Nishanti Sharma is. Who is this Nis... Uh, Nish... Nishanti. Nishanti Sharma. He lives in 4F, you know, right next door to 4E. You really don't get out much, do you? Your point? Nothing, but I'm sure she could vouch for you. Great, call her up. She's not here. Of course she isn't, <laughs> so I gotta wait here all day for her. You might have to, although she usually goes to Washington Square Park in the morning. You can look for her there. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna show the proof. Let's get this done, here we go. I have my apartment key, will that do? 
Sorry, no. That could be any key. Well, let's go upstairs and see if it works. And leave the door unattended? Can't do it. Sorry. God, son of a... Mm. Let's, I'm, I'm going to threaten violence. Out of my way. I'm going in. I wouldn't do that. Why? Are you going to stop me? Me? No. But I've got a cell phone in my pocket with 911 programmed in. All I have to do is hit send and the cops will be here in five minutes. Are you serious? Totally serious. I don't believe this. Why is he so keen? I'll be back. Okay, let's get See out of here. Around. So what's this letter all about? Oh, God. That's pixelated. Dr. Donald Quentin. Miss Blackwell, my name is Dr. Donald Quentin, and I was your aunt's primary care physician. I can never say this word. Physician. Physician. Here. At Bellevue Hospital. I have seen to your aunt's needs since she arrived here 25 years ago. Please accept my heartfelt condolences for your loss. Feel free to visit my office at any time. I am sure we have much to discuss. Sincerely, Donald Quentin, MD. He appears to be some sort of arse. How do I get out of here? Is it exit? Space? Enter? Oh, okay. It's nothing to do with me then. Right, let's leave. Can I... Can I leave? Exit. So, some little bastard won't allow me in my apartment. I don't know why. It's Rose's apartment. It's like Couch Hospital. So I need to go to Washington Square Park. Here we go. Washington Square. It's been a while since I've been here. I... See, the Still way... It looks the same, I guess. Although the dog park is empty. I wonder why. I already don't trust her. I think she's also a ghost. Let's have a look, see. So. Please note, Dog Walking Park is closed until further notice. Hmm. The dog park is empty. There's no reason to go in there. Maybe I want to dick about in the dog park. Why doesn't anyone mm. get that? Now I'm getting a stress headache. I need to get home. What? Hang on, no, yeah, I was gonna say, I didn't quite... To the fountain. Okay. I don't think so. What do you mean? I've just pointed at a dog. You said, I, no, That's sorry. That's her. I recognize her from my building. Nishanti Sharma, was it? This is gonna be awkward. She looks as mad as a brush. Okay, uh, so excuse? I can't do it. I can't just barge up to her. Not in front of all those people. They're all Yes, staring. you can! I'm not untying the dog's leash. Nishanti would kill me. But it will get her attention. All right, here I go. Oh, okay. So um, it's one of those sorts of games. Um, uh, no. Okay, that didn't go so well. I just need to work myself up to it. So let's do it again. Okay, you can do this. Right. Um, crap. Calm down. Need to calm down. Do I have any drugs in my handbag? No, I don't. I don't even have a handbag. This is good news. Right. This is it. Hi. Um. Can I. Damn it. This is not working. I can't do this. I just can't. Is this going to be one of those things where no one actually directly talks to you? I was saying that the teenager just did for the last half an hour. No. I can't do this. I just. 
can't. Okay, right. We'll just so... have to wait until she's finished. Or, I don't know. I can't do this with all those people staring at me. Okay, so we've exhausted that option. We can't talk to her. This dog's leash is elastic. <laughs> How long is that lead? Get away from me. UK9 quadruped. Right, so I'm going to exit and maybe go to the hospital. We'll see what happens. I don't have anyone to call. All right. You're the most aggressive, lonely person I've ever seen. Okay, let's go talk to the guard. See what he's going to say. What's with the lights? Hey, old buildings, you know. Always got problems. If the plumbing ain't broken, the lights are on the blink. It's giving me a headache, let me tell you. I'm here to see Dr. Quentin. Uh-huh. Is he expecting you? I've got this letter right here. Okay, looks legit. Nice. Go right in. His name's on the door, you can't miss it. Thanks. Oh, okay, here I go. Dr. Quentin, I presume. Come in. With a magnificent Dr. Quentin? beard. Yes? I'm Rose Angela Blackwell. Oh, hello. Rose Angela! Come in, come in. Whoa! You got my letter, I trust. Yes, I did. Good, good. My condolences on the loss of your mother. Uh... Stern? If the doctor can't be asked to know... Oh, right, it's gonna be stern. It's gonna be so stern. You mean my aunt? Ah, quite right, quite right. So you wanted to talk to me about something? That wasn't stern. Yes, yes I did. But before be we like... go into that, how are you holding up? <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, I think throughout this game, I think I'm going to be as honest as I can. If someone says, how are you? Be, Awful. I tried to talk to a fluted woman. She wouldn't have any of it. There was a dog on a bungee lead that just kept following me around everywhere. There's an arsehole smoking outside the front of my building that won't let me in. And they just throw up in his face. Just having a really bad morning. Oh? It's... I'll get over it. Just some stuff I have to deal with. You received the ashes? Yes. I scattered them this morning. I imagine you must miss her. To be honest, mate, you, you assumed it was my mother, you asshole. To be honest, I'm not sure what to feel. It's not like I knew her, or even remember her from before. She's like a stranger. So why did you make it a point of visiting her all those years? Ooh, I'm gonna, family, that sounds nice, doesn't it? She was the only family I had. I guess I felt an obligation, like I had to. And now that you don't have to? What do you want me to say? Auntie's dead, life goes on. So you'll just keep living, is that it? Yes. Keep writing your little book reviews in the paper, right? You know about those? It's hardly a secret. A number of the staff have read them, yes. I didn't think a West Village paper would interest anyone up here. Okay, so I'm clearly real then. Honest, that's, my, uh, that's my the theory debunked. Them because they were more interested in you. More interested in me? That's really creepy, Dr. Quentin. Their intentions were purely benign, I assure you. It was your aunt they were primarily interested in. They wanted to know more about her family, and you proved to be, hmm, shall we say, less than eager to comply? That's their problem. What? Indeed. It was your choice to make. Your aunt was an interesting Why is everyone case. being an asshole to and me? now that she's gone, I was hoping you'd be more forthcoming with me. Just an informal chat. We can discuss her condition. And yours too, of course. Oh, hang on. Ask Wait, what do you mean by my condition? I can't see half Hereditary these answers. dementia is my specialty, Miss Blackwell. And in my opinion, there is significant cause for concern. Sorry, did you say hereditary? Yes, two generations. Your aunt and your grandmother before her. My grandmother? Yes, Patricia, I think her name was, right? I never knew my grandmother. Auntie Lauren was it. There was nobody else. She couldn't exactly provide me with the family history. Oh, I see. 
I had no idea. Well, maybe you should have. Did anyone else come in to visit her besides me? No, you are correct. I should have read the family history more carefully. Yeah, you I really should. I I just assumed. Well, never mind. It doesn't change the fact that you should be concerned as well. No, not never mind. Go on. You're an unprofessional Patricia cretin. Patricia Blackwell suffered her mental collapse at the age of 55. Lauren Blackwell underwent hers at the age of 40. What are you saying? That the same thing is going to happen to me? No. I'm saying that there is significant cause for concern. Ask about auntie's you never condition? could find out what was wrong with her, huh? No, we didn't. But she still remains a fascinating it's getting on your case. Twitter. Fascinating. I don't understand. Forgive me. I speak from a purely professional perspective. I didn't know your aunt personally. Neither did I, but fascinating? It might come as a surprise to you, but yes. But she was practically catatonic. All she did was lie there for 20 years. She'd sometimes twitch or mumble something incoherent, but I wouldn't call that fascinating. Well, as you know, she wasn't exactly catatonic. We kept her sedated. Right. She had outbursts. Yes, and we had to sedate her heavily to keep her calm. What is going Especially on? Especially in preparation. Look at all he's nurses. leaning at me. Going, what are you trying to say? Miss Blackwell, we are not a nursing home. We're not content to merely keep a patient comfortable. We are, after all, in the healing profession. We were trying to heal your aunt, and to do that, we had to speak to her. Wait, you spoke to auntie? We tried to. Did she answer back? After a fashion, yes. Oh, God. Ask about so-and-so's condition. So, I had a grandmother's condition. Apparently so. How do you know about her? It was in your aunt's case history when she was brought to us. Patricia Blackwell's symptoms were the same, word for word. Patricia's case was severe, and she was young, but it was chalked up to being an ordinary case of dementia. Oh, just not just dementia. Until it struck her daughter. Until 20 years later, when it struck her daughter, yes. It seems impossible. I don't like this doctor. Perhaps it's genetic, but we've detected no abnormality. Let's, should we ask for Auntie's words? If Auntie spoke, why wasn't I told? Miss Blackwell, do you remember what brought your aunt here in the first place? Her screaming? Her hitting herself? I was only five years old at the time, but I kind of remember. In order to prevent her from doing harm to herself or to others, we were forced to... This is getting dark! When we limited her medication, she simply reverted to her former state. Her natural state, I'm sorry to add. What did Auntie say? Nothing that made any sense. But one thing was clear. She was in great well, pain. Tell me what she pain. said. What kind of pain? It's difficult to say, but it was immense. How immense? When we reduced her medication, <laughs> the transformation was dramatic. Her eyes flew open. She thrashed. Her screams. Well, we had to gag her eventually. Wow. Oh my God. I know. Did she still feel it when she was sedated? We don't know. There's no way of knowing. 25 years. I know. Poor auntie. <laughs> it's horrible. Yes. Good day. Bye. <clears throat> Crazy times. Ask about the future. So what should I do? Right now? Nothing. This type of thing is unprecedented. There is no procedure to go through. No medication I can give you. I just want you to be aware is all. And come talk to me if... Well, there's any concern. Is dementia hereditary? I just thought it was something that happened when you got older and your and your brain just started to fail you. I, is this something that's made up for the story? I don't know. You couldn't find any other link between the two cases? None, aside from the family connection. And uh, a name. A name? What name? The documentation we had on oh, your just tell me. is minimal. But there was one interesting item noted. During her more lucid moments, she uttered the name Joey. Your aunt, too, would cry out that name on occasion. Joey? Yes. Who's Joey? We've been wondering the same thing for 25 years. You are useless, mate. Is there anything else you need to tell me before I go? Your aunt had some personal effects in storage. As the next of kin, you're, you're the beneficiary. beneficiary. It's just a folder, some documents and so on. It's being sent to your address via messenger. Oh, well, thanks for that. It's no problem at all. Goodbye, Miss Blackwell. My schedule is fairly open now. 
so feel free to drop in any time. I'm always happy to discuss my favorite patient. Sure. You're weird, mate. Sorry, I don't particularly trust you. You're a weird person. You're a weird human being. I'm not stealing stuff from the hospital. What? I just said... I don't think so. There's weird reactions to this. Locked. Whatever's back there, I can't get to it. Fuse box. You need a key to open it. Oh, I see. It's one of these games. Okay. So there's no... Uh, I've got no folders up here. I'm going to go back to my apartment, I guess. Hello again. I'll be back. See you around. So there's nothing I can... I can do there, really. I need proof. Let's go back to the park. Maybe if I go back there, uh, all the crowds are gone. This is bloody bungee dog. It's wrapped around the... Oh, for heaven's sake. There Don't we go. Don't worry, Moti. I'm coming. This guy's still filming for no reason. There. All better. <laughs> all I can't better. take you anywhere, can I? Oh, it's you. The lady next door. Yeah. Oh, Hi. it's you. Rhonda, isn't it? No. Rosangela. Well, Rosangela. I hope my friend here hasn't been giving you any trouble. Shrug it off. Explain the situation. Shrug it off. Uh, no, no. Let's, let's approach this head on. He started following me. I'm not sure why. That's because he recognizes you. He's just being friendly. Right, Moti? Just being friendly, hmm? See? Eh? Right. Anyway, I don't think we've formally met. I'm Nishanti. Rosangela. So you said. Oh, right. Um... Yes? I have a strange favor to this ask. This is a very awkward Go game, the way it's written. What are neighbors for? You know that building servicemen strike? Yes. Jim Birdo is covering, isn't he? Yeah, that's the problem, see? He doesn't recognize me. Oh? Oh. So you need me to vouch for you? Yeah, I know this is pretty stupid. Don't worry about it. Moti is getting a little cranky anyway. Let's get you home. Nice. Thanks. Let's get into the apartment. So, yeah, first impressions of this game. Mm. It's, it's very intriguing. Are you alright? I'm fine, I just need to get home. All right, let's keep walking. The the dialogue is a bit clunky. That's the only way I can describe it. But um, hello, we'll see what Jim. Happens. Hey, Miss Sharma. Jim, this is Rose Angela. She lives here. She does. Okay. Sorry about earlier. Had to be sure. Sarcastic response. Let's be passive aggressive. Well, now you're sure, and you must be so proud of yourself. Well, never mind. Just get out of my way. Oh. Well, here we are. Yes. Finally. That stupid kid. Well, perhaps. But try not to be so hard on him. We're all neighbors after all. Yes. Yeah, I guess. It is clunky dialogue, Looks I like think. like somebody is hungry. I'd best get this spoiled puppy fed. Feel free to drop in any time you want. Really? Yes, really. I know we New Yorkers don't usually talk to our neighbors, but who cares? The city can be a lonely place, especially when you live alone. I've got Moti. Who do you have? How? That's so unfair. I've got someone. I'm going to assume that you are happy in your life. Get defensive. Look, I know what you're saying, but I don't need anyone to look out for me. I'm fine. Just my microphone. Oh, I'm sure. No doubt. Although your episode in the park tells me otherwise. And your eyes. Well, what? let's just say the offer stands. Sure. You go home now. What about we'll my see eyes? see each other soon, Rose Angela, I'm Why sure. is everyone so horrible to me? I don't understand. Hey, 
Yes. Um, you can call me Rosa, if you like. Rosangela is kind of a mouthful, you know. All right, Rosa. Is it? You have a good day now. What a strange lady. Not really. I think she's a bit forward, but I wouldn't say strange. Is this where I live? Home. Thank God. Thank God. I thought I was walked into someone else's home. I've never been so happy to see a 500 square foot room in my life. Oh, this will be my post. Looks like it's from Bellevue. Here we go. Oh, God. Wow. There are some pictures stuck to the back of this letter. Dear Miss Blackwell, it is, indeed, within your legal rights to take custody of your five-year-old niece. Wow, this is... Yeah. Hello? Rosangelina, hi. Hi, Bob. Thanks so much for submitting your last review on time. For once. Yeah. Shut up, Bob. I've got a little assignment for you today. Assignment? <coughs> Human interest, Blackwell. Suicide. College girl named Joanne Sherman. Well, that's awful, but... You know the Brittany house, the NYU dorm? Yes, but... Speak to some people on her floor. Get a word in with the roommate. Listen. Speak to the RA, too. And hey, see if you can score a picture of the girl. But I don't do that stuff. I write book reviews. Versatility. Time to get out of your comfort zone. Jeremy's over at City Hall covering that strike, so you are it. Get cracking. I hate him so much. Wow. Is freelancing for that stupid paper even worth it? Well, I guess it keeps me writing, but... Oh, whatever. I'll just go over there and get it done. It's not like I don't have enough death in my life right now. This is a morbid-ass game. A thing. It's like being a real reporter, sort of. My old notepad should come in handy for this. I think I need my notepad. Joanne, a student living in Brittany House. Okay, that's My quite cool. My boss asked me to find a photograph of Joanne to put it in the paper. Oh, clever! Hmm, no, I don't see any connection. So you just have to click on stuff and... Ah, oh, and it sorts it out. That's very, very cunning. Look at that computer. Cleft in twain by the pixel hammer. Write your article. Do some writing. Do research. This isn't research. No, I can't find any information about Joanne. No mention of Joanne's suicide yet. If it just happened this morning, I doubt that anyone would have published it yet. Wow, you live in a world of ridiculously slow news. Nope, no photographs of Joanne online. Okay. <sighs> I am just feeling so uninspired today. Maybe tomorrow I'll fill up to it. But today, it's just not happening. All right, write mm. your article. I don't think I have enough information to write a full article. I should see what else I can discover. At the very least, I should try and find a picture. Okay. So, stove, blah, blah, blah. I don't think I need any of this. I'm not ready for bed. All right. There's nothing in these cabinets I want right now. Is there any way I can just go closer to the no. curtains? I open those curtains and a dozen windows can look directly in here. Those curtains stay shut, and prying eyes stay out. She's very, uh... She don't want no one. So, yeah. This game is, um... I think it's got a lot of potential. It's just a bit bizarre at the moment. So Brittany Hall Dorm is where I want to go. Ugh. I feel like hell, and I have to interview college kids. Hopefully this won't take too long. Door. 
So I need to go in here, do I? I think. Hmm? Hi, I'm Rose Angela Blackwell. Can I help you? Perhaps. Could I ask you a few questions? Oh, this is about Joanne, isn't it? You know her? Well, I am the RA for this floor. I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't know everybody. The campus police found her around 5 a.m. this morning. Can you tell me about her? Wow. Hmm. Well, all right. But could you leave my name out of it? Yeah, sure. That shouldn't be a problem. Good. Joanne's parents have already asked the dean to fire me. I don't need anyone else knowing who I am. What do you want to know? Start from the top. Could you tell me about Joanne again? Well, as I said, I didn't know her socially, but she seemed nice enough. Nobody ever complained about her. She always had friends around her. She never had any trouble, as far as I know. Her suicide came as a total surprise. Oh, he did linger a bit on that word, didn't he? Can you tell me anything about Joanne? She jumped off the roof. She Whoa. died instantly. It was in the middle of the night. There was there was no way anybody could have stopped her. Make sure you print that. I don't, I don't like his tone. Would you have a picture of Joanne? A picture? No. Why would I? Just asking. So how did you get to be an RA of this floor? What do you mean? Well, it's a girl's floor, and you, well... Aren't? Yes. Well, it's like this. Someone at the registrar thought Adrian was a girl's name. So here I am. None of the girls have complained? Not yet. They seem to prefer it. This sort of thing happens quite frequently. You'd be surprised. Okay, I think I've got everything. Well, that's all for now. Thanks for helping out. Just remember, leave my name out of it. I'm going to break that promise. See who's in this door. There's nobody home. Um, no. Could be some information here. So... I'm not stealing stuff from college kids. It seems that this game... It's like clicking stuff and finding stuff out, but it's quite linear. You're not really going to miss anything. It's very simply laid out. There's nobody home. There's nobody home. So yes. Ew, there's gum stuck to the faucet. I'm not touching that. Ah, Joanne and Kelly's door. Kelly? Sorry. Yeah. Oh. Hi, I'm Rosangela Blackwell. Rosangela. Am I supposed to know you? No, I'm with the Village Eye. The Village what? The Village Eye. The newspaper. I've never heard of it. Defend your employers. It's Shrug just it a thing. small paper. Yeah, I guess that. What do you want? I'd like to talk to you about your roommate, if that's all right. Jesus Christ. I'm busy with midterms. I told the campus police everything. Do you have to bother me? Look, so she killed herself. Big whoop. Why is that my problem? Christ. She's a bit much. So you and Joanne weren't close. Brilliant deduction, Sherlock. Can you go away? I could. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna show some distaste That's here. She's being me. Harsh. Yeah. So what? You have a problem with that? Yeah, I do. Or oh, just apologise. Sorry. Whatever. Whatever. Look, my boss will kill me if I come back with nothing. Can't you help me out here? <laughs> Fine. Oh. You want to know about Joanne? She's dead. She couldn't take the pressure, so she jumped off the roof. Did Joanne act? Unusual before she died. Nope. Same old Joanne. Studied at her desk all day and slept all night, as usual. Quiet as a little mouse. Okay, so let's ask some questions here. Is there anything else you can tell me about Joanne? No. Do you have any thoughts on why Joanne would kill herself? Nope. Just another kid who couldn't hack it. She's a bitch. Do you have a photograph of Joanne that we could use for the newspaper? You want a what? Just a photograph. You'll get it right back. Yeah, right. You think I'm giving you anything? Think again. Why is she such a bitch? Can you tell me anything about Adrian? Oh, this will yeah, be interesting. Right? He's okay. He helps us out when we need it and keeps out of our way when we don't. It's the way it should be. Oh, okay. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself? 
Why do you want to know? Just background info for the paper. I don't think so. Suit yourself. Joanne never had trouble sleeping. How would I know? You lived with her. Like I pay attention. So Joanne was a good student. Wow. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Thanks for helping out. Yeah, sure. Whatever. By now, Rose has a number of clues in her notebook. Rose can combine clues together and attempt to find a connection between them. So combine notes, left click on one clue, and then left click on the second. My boss asked me to find a photograph of Joanne to put it in the paper. So if we do Joanne and Kelly. Joanne and Kelly were roommates at NYU. That's all I really know about them. Oh, so that's how it works, right. That makes no sense. Adrian lives a few doors down from Joanne in the NYU dorm. He's the resident assistant for the floor. Resident assistant. I thought it meant responsible adult, you see. Uh... If I were planning to kill myself, would I sleep soundly at night? I don't know if I could. Oh. Is that how many... Joanne seemed to be a hard-working student. Maybe the pressure got to her. According to Kelly, Joanne didn't have any trouble sleeping. It would appear that Joanne was a pretty good student, or at least a hard-working one. So how many things do I have to click on Maybe in Maybe there's order? a connection, but I can't see it. Maybe Adrian has a photo of Joanne I could use. I've already asked. If anyone has a photograph of Joanne, it would be Kelly. If only I could convince her to give it to me. Well, that's what I need. We'll get that photo. I think that's the plan. Yeah. Do you have a photograph of Joanne that we could use for the newspaper? You want a what? Just a photograph. You'll get it right back. Yeah, right. You think I'm giving you anything? Think again. Is there anything else you can tell me about Joanne? No. Do you have yeah, any thoughts a, on Yeah, she's a really unhelpful... Uh, nope. Just another kid who couldn't hack it. That's just gonna give me the same Thanks answers, for helping out. It? Yeah, sure. Whatever. There's nobody home. I'm gonna go back to Adrian quickly. He's the way over here, isn't he? Hmm? Hi, it's me again. You have more questions, I imagine? Yeah, Dude, is that okay? Dude, stop being I suppose so. What do you want to know? I want a photograph, please, mate. Did I already ask you if you had a picture of Joanne? Yes, you did. And the answer is still no. Ooh. What can you tell me about Joanne's roommate? Kelly? Have you met her? Yes. Quite a sight, huh? But don't judge her by that. She's the sharpest kid you'll ever meet. She gets straight A's on everything. Really? Yep, she's pre-med. Interesting. Do you know if Joanne had any trouble sleeping? I'm afraid I wouldn't. Her roommate, Kelly, never complained, but that's not surprising. Why is that? Well, Kelly rarely spent the night in her room. She only comes here to study, as far as I've seen. Uh. Do you know where Kelly was sleeping? No, it's not my place to ask. Was Joanne a good student? I don't think she had any problems, but of course, the pressure can get to anybody. Well, that's all for now. Okay, Thanks for helping we're getting out. to the bottom Just of it. Just remember, leave my name out of it. We're getting there. We're finding clues. We're kicking ass. We're taking names. Yeah. Here we go. So, you've been sleeping somewhere else lately. Yeah, I've been at my boyfriend's. You've been following me or something? No, no. Just confirming the information. Looks like Adrian's been talking. Joanne never had trouble sleeping. How would I know? You lived with her. Like I pay attention. Well, 
five. Thanks for of... helping out. Yeah, sure. Whatever. I've sort of gone through everything. So let's do this. Wait a minute. Something isn't right. If Kelly's been spending her night somewhere else, how can she know if her roommate was sleeping well or not? Hmm. I think Kelly was lying to me. I wonder if Kelly has told me everything about the suicide. Oh, that's it. I'm knocking on this door again. Stir. Yeah? Your RA told me that you haven't been sleeping in your dorm. Yes, yeah, so? You told me that Joanne slept in her room every night. So? How would you know Joanne slept here if you've been sleeping somewhere else? Huh? Oh, well, I just assumed. Did you lie to me? I didn't lie. I just... Oh, screw it. You wanna talk? Fine. What do you want to know? Oh! So what was Joanne really like? To be honest, there's nothing to say. She was studying political science, which is kind of cool, I guess. She was so vanilla. Vanilla? You know, sweet, but not much there. Uh, vanilla just is like the nicest flavor. Day. Acted just like everybody else. She seemed proud of it. Did Joanne act unusual before she died? Well, no. Although, the last few weeks, she's been talking in her sleep. What did she say? No idea. Couldn't understand her. She swore up and down that she wasn't doing it. She looked a bit scared, though. Scared? How so? Just scared. I didn't need the drama, scared. so I've been oh sleeping my at my boyfriend's place. So you weren't here when she... Killed herself? No, I wasn't here. N not that it would have made much of a difference. Are we done? I could really use a photo of Joanne, if you have one. Hmm. Alright, just a sec. She never comes back. This oh. was hers. It was on her desk. She won't be needing it anymore. Joanne's the girl on the left. Thanks. Adrian! Can you tell me anything about Adrian? The RA? He's okay. He helps us out when we need it. It's the way it should be. Can you tell me a little bit why? Just background? I don't think so. Suit yourself. Thanks for helping out. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Okay. So, we got the photograph. Hang on, let's, let's have a... Joanne, girl, girl. I don't want to ruin the picture. Why well, would... I assume that this is a friend of Joanne, but I have no idea who she is. I don't want to ruin the picture. What? I assume that this is a friend of Joanne, but I have no idea who she is. According to Kelly, this girl on the left is Joanne. I don't want to ruin the picture. What? Why would you be ruining the picture? I'm just left clicking on it. I don't understand. You utter weirdo. Okay. Joanne's photograph. Christmas photograph. Alright. Oh, I see. These are the photographs from... That's definitely Auntie Lauren. She's looking at something off camera. I wonder what it was. I assume that's my mother. She sort of looks like me, I guess. Other than that, she's a total stranger. Is Sad. that my dad? He looks so young. I always pictured my dad as being older. What a strange sentence to even suggest. Okay, so. Options? Ah! Save. No idea what I'm. Oh god, I can't type. Still getting used to a mechanical keyboard. No idea what I'm doing! So. Hey, X Wallet, whatever. I'm gonna call you Wolfie. That's what I'm gonna do. How you doing, Wolfie? So I think maybe what we should do is we should go back. Ugh. Ah. This is getting worse. It's gonna At least I have worse. enough for the story now. I better get home. Let's go home. Let's type up that sweet article, though. This is getting bad. Okay. So we've got everything we need for this 
article. Oh my god. This really hurts. Sleep, that's all I need. I'll just type up the story and get to bed. Shouldn't take that long. Computer. Right. No more interruptions. Let's do it. Done. Article's finished, picture is scanned, and I am done for the day. Let's go to bed. Uh. No. What? I need fresh air. Alex. I've got to get out of here. Alex, my man. Have you had a good day, sir? Have you been doing anything fantastic? I know I haven't. I c hang on. Let's knock on this door, see what happens. Come in! Oh, here we go. Hello, Rosa. Come in, come in. Don't mind the pooch, he's harmless. Stop barking at me. God. Door. Door. There's nothing in her apartment to look at. Fair enough. Make small talk. So, um, how are you? I've been at work, oh, dude. I've been selling fine. comic books. Right, Moti, aren't just, we just oh, fine? I've been selling Magic the Gathering. Lots of that. Lots of magic. Lots of comic books. Um, just taking money off customers. That's that's how I roll. So I work in a comic book store, and then I get paid, and then I spend it all on comic books. That's that's what I do. Thanks again for helping me out earlier. I'd probably be sleeping in a hotel tonight if it weren't for you. Oh, didn't you hear? The strike's over. Really? It only lasted a few hours according to the report on the radio. I suppose that's irony. I suppose so. Ask about dog. That dog is adorable. Moti. The flattest Spoiled face. Rotten, but he's good company. On the planet. He's taken quite a shine to you, that's for sure. Huh. Yeah. Usually I'm not good with animals. You never had a childhood pet? A pet? Stop no, asking I about had my a childhood. Teddy bear. <laughs> Well, you probably had the right idea. Moti's a little thing, but you wouldn't know it from the amount he eats. He's very Just active, like me. it seems. Yes, that probably explains it. See that box of biscuits? I buy a new one every two days. Moti doesn't have a stomach. He has a black hole that sucks in food. Feel free to give him one if you like. Uh... No, you seem I'm very right. friendly with the people in this building. Well, I didn't grow up here. I didn't realize I do it was enjoy taboo it. to chat with neighbors. It's a lot of fun. Well, it's not taboo, exactly. It's just... It's good fun when people oh, come in and go... I just one of those unspoken things. I don't know what to buy. I found that I most people my... are pretty friendly, though, Whatever. once you take the first X, step. Whatever. X, Y, and Z, something. People I'm have their defenses up most of the time. And I was just Batman. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Is it a French bulldog? I don't know. Whatever it is, it looks like it's been hit in the face by a truck. Could I try feeding the dog? Sure, here, take one. I have plenty. Go ahead and feed him. He's always hungry. Ask about flute. So, I shall. you play the flute, huh? Yes, I play the flute. It's called a bansuri. What about you? Do you play I must say, I don't know much about dogs. Me? I'm, no, more, I'm I can a cat play person the myself. Let's see. Or dragons. You strike me as Cats being creatively inclined. Are you a painter? A writer? Well, I'm trying to be a writer. I knew it. Anything published? Nothing really, aside from book reviews in the Village Eye. Village Eye? You mean that little paper they sell at the stand? You've read it? I've seen it around, but I've never actually read it. Ha. Perhaps I will the next time I see it. Also, it's good that my, um, my stream is working, that you can actually see it, which is awesome. I was worried for a second because this game is a bit weird. Um... Ask about the park. Why do you play the flute in the park? It's a place to go, I suppose. I was walking. I don't know there if you've ever played this game, Alex. I'm me, trying so to solve Next why a girl thing I knew, I had a bunch of people around me. It's so a bit I more go there as often that. as I can now. But it gets me out of this stuffy apartment. And I admit I like the attention. Plus, Moti loves the dog run there. 
Well, he did until they closed it down. Why did they close down the dog run? It seemed okay to me. Nobody really knows. It started about a week ago. Yeah, I couldn't name a single breed of cat either. Like um, Siamese? Strange. Some even hurled themselves at the fence door trying to get out. Lion? They say it's some kind of high Tiger. frequency wave that's caused by electric... I can do all the big something. cats, but some small cats, not sound really. That the dogs can hear, but we can't. Long ears? But I know better. <laughs> you know better. I might Definitely. be making stuff up. I noticed up. these things. I could tell that things weren't quite right. Something in the air. It's not a high-pitched noise. That would only cause a dog pain. This was more than pain. The dogs were scared. What was there to be scared of? I have no idea, but I know what I sensed, just like you did. Me? You mm. sensed it. Oh, Don't dear. Think I didn't Goodness notice. me. I didn't sense anything. Well, perhaps. Maybe I'm just spouting nonsense. I think you are, love. Psychics often do. Ask you have apartment. a very nice apartment. Thank you. A bit small, but that's New York for you. What's awesome is you can't see enough of the text well, down here. Well, I'd better go. Take care, Rosa. Come back whenever you'd like. I'm just taking it that the very bottom thing here that you can't see means I'm buggering off now. I'm going to walk into her kitchen. What's in here? I demand to know. Nothing. I'm leaving. Alright, but this is the last one. Go get it. Go get it. You dropped it into her, into its face. Okay, I'm gonna leave. That's what I'm gonna do. So, I'm gonna go back in here. What is happening? Yeah. It's gone. The pain. It's gone. That was strange. It was like... Like... What was this? What is that? The photo. Something is different about it. I almost don't want to look, but... Ah! No, no, no. I did not just see that. I am not going crazy. No, it's just the stress, that's all. Auntie's death, work, life. I just need a rest, that's all. Oh. There appears to be a ghost in my bedroom. No. Oh, oh god. Ah! I can't remember explain the black part. I can't remember exactly what I said. Hello, bright eyes. Well, look what you made her do. Why do they always do that? Hello, Joey. I assume I'm talking to Joey. Um. So, Griff. Long time no see. How's tricks? Right thought as much. Black willed dames. Always sleeping. You're always sleeping, and I'm always watching. <laughs> yep, that's me. The eternal chump. Mm. It's about time. Hey, nap time Nelly. Wake up. What? <clears throat> Shall we try this again? No. Now that's not very polite. Go away. I'm afraid I can't do that, darling. Believe me, I've tried. No, you don't exist. Oh, yes, I do. Look at me. This is not happening. This is not Look happening. Look at me. Oh, brother. Look at me. I am not going insane. There is nothing there. Could you? No. I am not my aunt. I am not my grandmother. I am not going to end up like that. Listen. Get out of my head. There's nothing there. There's nothing there. There's nothing there. Could you? Shut up. Shut up, shut up, shut up! This no, is... you shut up. You're gonna listen. Very intense. And you're gonna listen good. I've been watching you all day, sweetheart. You know who I am. No. 
Yes. I'm not going away, so there'd be no point in beating around the bush. Now say my name. No! Damn you, you know my name, now say it! You're... Yes? You're... Joey? Good girl. You got it. Why was he so... Now turn around and look at me. I... Don't worry. I won't bite. Couldn't even if I wanted to. Hi there. Why is he so aggressive? Uh, Say my name! Um... I don't know really, mate. I like... What made me want to stream? I love games. I... G gaming for me is more than a hobby. It's... You know, I enjoy books. I enjoy board games. I enjoy... I enjoy beer. Oh, speaking of beer. Cheers, need to open up another one. Um, it's just a way of sharing a, a hobby, I think. It's a way of sharing... Well, like I said, it's more than a hobby, it's a passion. Gaming for me is something that is... Uh, a good game for me is a good piece of art. It really is. If it's designed well, if the story is good, um, if the controls just work and flow, um, and if I enjoy something, I want to share my enjoyment with people, and I guess that's that's all it is. Um, as well, you know, experiencing a new game like this, it's also good for people to... He is! He's Heisenberg! <laughs> <coughs> he looks exactly like Heisenberg. Um, yeah, like, it's just the... It's also a good way to introduce people to other games that might not, they might not have heard of. I mean, a lot of games that I watch, um, you know, people like Day 9 and that sort of thing. There's games that I've never heard of before. Um, started playing The Dig and um, getting into the old King Quest, King's Quest games and that sort of thing. It's just a good way to share what you enjoy. You know, it's a good way of recommending things to people. I, I really like it. Accept response. You really exist. Oh yes, live and in person. Although I'm not. I am the alive, one that haunts. And I'm not sure if I can still call myself a person anymore. So who are you? I'm Joey Malone, and I'm the family spirit guide. <laughs> I love the cheesy. What? Think of me as the Blackwell legacy, darling. I'm passed down from one generation to the next, like a family heirloom. First your grandmother got stuck with me, then your aunt, and now you. Slightly obvious. Question his origins. Where did you Let's come from? That's a long, long story, dollface. And we've got more important things to do. Why have you been haunting my family? Haunting? Is that what I'm doing? That's a real ugly word. Answer me, why are you here? You got me, sweetheart. I've been wondering why me and why your family since this whole gig started. Must be some kind of gift your family has. A gift? You're a medium. It a sounds medium like with the, a direct um, connection with the spirit world. Like and the voice I, acting, my dear, have the it sounds sort of like they got everybody that from the office to do it. I, I could be completely wrong. It doesn't sound I don't like understand proper. Any of this. Oh, you will, babe. You will. It took your aunt a while, voice but she acting. got the I don't know. It. Maybe I'm being cruel. Your mother never really caught on. That's probably why. Why what? Why she didn't last long. But that's something we can talk about later. You felt something today, didn't you? Felt something? Yeah. You felt sick to your stomach, I saw you. I've been feeling sick all day. And where did it start? Oh god, where did it start? You know, university, so... You mean, the dog run? Yeah, that's where we've gotta go. What, right now? Yep, the sooner the better. But it's the middle of the night. So, you've just had a nice nap. You should be ready for action. I'm not going out to Washington Square Park in the middle of the night. Well, that's where you're wrong. If there's any reason behind this medium business, it's to take care of problems like your dog park. And we have to take care of them soon. Right. Brush off response. Been gaming for about 11 years. So you're a PC gamer? it seems. What sort of games do you enjoy, Alex? I very much like old school games like this sort of thing. I, I'll play, I will play anything as long as it's an awesome game, as long as it's well written and well done. I don't care what it is. Even if one day they actually finally make a decent Call of Duty game, I'll play it and I'll hold up my hand and say it was really, really good. Um, but I'm starting to get into more like adventure games and stuff. It's good fun. What do you enjoy, sir? 
I say, sir, could be madam. All, I, all, all I've got is it's a beautiful graphics card that's horrific. Get it upgraded. Fine, we'll do it in the morning. No can do. We gotta go now. What's the hurry? Let me put it another way. Every character gets so intense in this game. And grandmother. Was that because of you? Did you do that? Not me, kid. Not me. I didn't make him that way, and I don't know what did. But do you really want to sit around here and find out? I'm gonna go with confusion. Maybe I am going crazy. Maybe I'd prefer going crazy. Sorry, sugar. You're totally sane. Deal with it. Fine. Let's go. That's the spirit. Well, no, you're the spirit. Ah! After you. Oh, a funny bastard. That was strange. Everybody just ignored you. Am I the only one who can see you? Yep, and hear me. So keep your voice low. Oh, yeah. This is the spot. Can you see it? I don't see anything. Can we go? Come on, this way. Hey, wait! Don't worry, I can't travel far from you. It goes against the rules. Whatever they are. Now look inside there, and look close. What am I supposed to see? Just wait. It'll come. Uh. Wait, I see something. Who is that? That's what we're here to find out. I'll talk to the spook. You can stay here. Okay. So, so far, this game seems to be rather... Now, watch and learn. In terms of storytelling, it's not very linear. Why so down, beautiful? Ah. I'm a bit out of practice. How should I handle this? Be obvious? Hey, don't be like that. If there's one thing I hate, it's seeing a pretty girl cry. Jesus. Stay firm. Hey, I'm talking to you. They all run. It's so hard to hold on. It's me. It's me. They won't stop. Shh. Relax. Slow down and tell me everything. I'm here to help. 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 He wants me to help him. But I want to help them. Don't they know that? Help who? Can't. Can't. They run away. We won't run away. No. No, we're sick. Sorry, man. Us. Sorry, dude. Yes, I do know you, Alex. How you doing? Whatever yes. Happened, darling, but you got your over. gym Raina, didn't you? So it's fine. You do know that, don't you? No. <laughs> I think we found it for I'm you in poisoned. the end. Stay away um, or I'll poison you. Run. Sorry, no, you've, you told me this before. Wait, Sorry, my memory for names and people is so shocking. I need to get back into uh, World of Warcraft. I, I started. Um, in fact, it's twice I've started. Um, most recently, I started back in May again. Um, enjoyed it, but sort of then stopped. Um, playing Power Rangers. Which Power Rangers game? I'm gonna stand my ground. Not a chance. I'm staying right here. You're, you're him. He's the only one who won't go away. Who? Him. Now look, darling. Sweetheart. Leave me. Hey. Leave. All right. We're going. Look, just sit tight. We'll figure this out. And we'll be back. I love how chilled out this guy is. Friggin' ghosts. Can't get a straightforward <laughs> answer out of any of them. What just happened? What just happened? Yeah, I think I was one that um, I, I, I sold it to your other half. that dog I think. park over there. You wondered why the mutts don't like it here. That's the reason. There's a ghost haunting the dog park. That's what I said. A ghost. Sure. What am I doing here? I told you. No, no. I really should go to bed. Hey, wait a sec. Floating clock. Yeah, sleep. I shouldn't be here. Oh, for the love of Pete.
Oh, day two. Uh, I think once this scene is done, I think I'm going to stop for now. Because <laughs> I haven't actually eaten anything. Good morning, bright eyes. Uh, you're still here. Wouldn't be anywhere else. Has anybody told you that you snore? If it bothers you so much, you can always leave. I wish I could, dear. I told you, I couldn't leave even if I wanted to. So this is going to be my life from now on? Pretty much, yeah. You're going to follow me around for the rest of my life? That's how it works, as far as I can tell. Great. Just great. Hey, it ain't all a bed of roses for me either, dollface. You think I chose to be shackled the to your family for the last 40 years? I've just thrown. Your grandmother refused to accept it, and look what happened to her. And auntie? She made a mistake. What kind of mistake? Hey, what is this, 20 questions? What's with the third degree? To be fair, mate, you've just started haunting my ass. I think I deserve some answers. Assert my rights. I have a right to know. No, you want to know. There's a difference. I don't have to tell you squat. Look, this isn't easy, you know. You're a ghost. Fine. I'm a medium. Fine. My whole life is turned upside down. Fine. But you could at least meet me halfway. You've accepted it, you say? So far, yes. You've only seen a taste of it. Are you ready to go all the way? What do you mean? Ready to see what's out there. Ready to see what this is all about. I'm gonna get this dialogue over and done with, and you're right, I might want to eat. Now, just after the uh, final Finding Nemo pop. Which, which pop is that? There's only a couple, isn't there? Finding Nemo? Yes. Good. Maybe there's hope after all. So, what is it? I don't have to tell you. It's best if I show you. Oh, here we go. Here, take a hold of this. I can touch it? Yeah, the only part of me you can touch, unfortunately. Ah! It kind of tingles. What is it? The stuff of life. Or death. I've never quite worked it out. What now? Now you pull. Pull the tie? Yeah, pull. Okay. Uh, where are we? Uh! Oh my god, where have you taken me? Relax, take your time. It's a lot to take in at once. What is this place? It's the doorway to infinity, darling. Out there, in the distance, the next world. The next plane of existence. The gossamer threads that separate this world from the next. Whatever you want to call it. It's all out there. So who built this How door? How did we get these here? Perfectly inside your head. Tiles. You mean I'm dreaming? No, I mean we're literally inside your head. Remember those headaches you had yesterday? Yeah. That was your power awakening. Or to be more specific, it was this place. Forcing its way into your mind. Bruce. We did have Bruce. We had him unboxed. I think uh, somebody bought him at Christmas. They're... Bloody hard to get hold of. Hang on. Is that dangerous? Maybe. I don't know. I'm not sure I like this. Well, like it or not, we're here. So what does this place actually do? It's sort of a transfer point or node. It connects the mortal world with the next. You bring spirits into this place and then send them on their merry way. Ah. That's it. Well, there's a bit more to it than that. I thought as much. You see, many ghosts aren't as lucid as myself. Most can barely tell you their own names, let alone tell you what's wrong. Near as I can figure, they have to come to terms with their... departure. Before they can actually depart. You dig me so far? I dig. I think so. The ghosts don't know they're dead. Yeah, yeah, right. So, we have to help them accept it. Once they accept their death, they are much more willing to move on. That's my job, see? I talk to the spooks. They trust me more because I'm one of them. You do the legwork. See? Anyway, I know you have some questions about this So, place, so this no game is all about going around trying to send ghosts, spirits back to the 
nether realms. I think I've learned enough. You sure? Yes, I'm sure. Yeah. All right. Let's get out of here. Because I'm, I'm actually uh, very hungry. I should save it. Welcome back. Ugh. <laughs> Take it easy. It's a little disorientating. I'm fine. So what now? Go back to the park and bring her to that place? You got it. And how do we do that? There are three steps. Ooh. First, we have to find out more about her. Second, we use that information to get through to her, convince her that she's dead. And three, help her move on. How do we help a ghost move on? With my magic tie, dear. I give one end to the spook, the other end to you. You pull the ghost in, and you send them on their way. You don't come in with me? No, sorry. That's your job. How do we find out more about her? Okay, this is interesting. She could be anybody. Not necessarily. That picture you got, the one of the three girls? That blonde girl is either the ghost in the park or her twin sister. Were you looking through my stuff? Well, I gotta keep busy somehow. What else Ooh, are we gonna do while you're sleeping? Claws. Giggity. I think I've heard enough. Yeah, let's get going. Okay. Okay, we're gonna save it. Oh, okay, that's a bit too long. Overgrown plant. I suppose I should trim this plant. Maybe one day. Photograph. It's a photograph of Auntie Lauren and me. And Joey, too, I guess. I don't need to talk to Joey in the photograph. I've got the real one hovering five feet behind me. It's funny. With Joey there, we almost look like a real family. So Auntie Lauren was a medium as well. All this time and I never knew. I can't believe that Joey was around when Auntie Lauren was taking care of me. When I was a little girl, yeah. I'd try to talk to my younger self in this picture. I was trying to give myself advice about the future. It didn't work then, and Weird. I doubt it would work now. No. I used to talk to this picture when I was a little girl, but not anymore. Well, I'll tell you what. I think, I think we're done. We're done for tonight. I need to eat. Alex, my man, thank you so much. Gonna alt tab out of here, and I think that means the music stopped. I'm not, I'm not hugely sure. Um, we laughed, we cried. We are still trying to figure out what exactly to do with this game. Um, but I mean, yeah. So imp um, impressions of it. I like it. It's good. It's um. It, yeah, it's, it seems a bit clunky sometimes, but I th it's one of those things where I think you just get used to the way that a game is made, the way it's been written. I like Joey. Joey's cool. I like the, the concept that he's a really lucid ghost, that he, he knows full well he's dead. He doesn't quite understand the rules of the game, but give a shit. He's going to play it anyway. Um... Yeah, Rose, Rose Elite, I can't even remember her full name. Ro oh, let's call her Rose. Uh, bit two-dimensional, which was funny because of the game. Um, I like it. I like it so far. So we've we've met Joey. We've we've done this. And this this is good stuff. We are making progress. So I'm gonna go. We'll do another one. We'll do another one very soon. Um, was it Saturday tomorrow? Maybe tomorrow. If not, maybe a little bit on Sunday. Uh, yeah, Alex, my man, thank you so much for watching. Sorry I keep forgetting who you are on Twitch. But I do know you, man. It's fine. It's awesome. Please, we've got that rainer sorted out. Um, yeah, everyone, follow me. Um, I'm going to put this on YouTube as well. So, you know, follow me on all, all the stuff. Like all the things. And we shall do it again sometime very soon. Like I say, tomorrow or the next day. Um, and we'll find out what's happened to the to uh, Joanne, Joanna, in her suicide, which is sad. And we'll figure out more about this ghost stuff. 
Very intriguing. Anyway, take care. Stay safe.